Hello, skateboarders. Welcome to TSM Live Show Season 5 Finale. We're here at Rad Rumble in Bunkersville, California. I smell some good food. I hear some good skating. Yo, let's go check this shit out. Yo, I'm gonna let you guys go first. Go ahead, check it out. The Rad Rumble, right here. Check it. So I'm here with Dave from Blockhead. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So what you been up to? Uh, what have I been up to? I mean, it's the holidays kind of, and like been shipping boards, and I'm pretty much like a one-man band, you know? Like I, <laughs> I do the, you know, sales, marketing, you know, design, sweep the floor, ship the boards, you know, just whatever it takes. Yeah. But, uh, my uh, my favorite part of the job though is uh, research and development. Really? Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. 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 So so tell us a little about that research. Well, research and development is where you know, like actually like stand on the boards. Okay. And like make sure they make, make sure, sure they're running. Make sure they're rolling right <laughs> and, and can you know do things. That's like I mean I don't do as much stuff as these guys obviously, but yeah. but I still have a lot of fun rolling around. Yeah. You know. How, did you have so, a good time at SkaterCon? SkaterCon was like, you know, a little trapped in the in a little box, you know. But it was it was all right, you know. It, you know, but it, enough people came by where it was cool, you know. Yeah. Like, I didn't even get to watch skateboarding really, which was a bummer, you know, because there's a lot of good skateboarding. But but I was just trapped in the box. But people were like coming by, so it was it was cool to see people. I know, right? What? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> So what you got going on with Bucket? Anything new for 2023? Um, you know, actually, we got a bunch of new stuff because mostly, mostly for the past, like I relaunched. I mean, Blockhead was founded in 1985, and then kind of went for like 10 years or so, and then went away for a bit, and then I brought it back just to do some like. I mean, mostly because I wanted to make stuff that I I could ride. So like early 2000s, we did some stuff and did the videos, but uh, but it wasn't like serious. I yeah. still had like a a full time like. You almost did that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was doing like, I had jobs like I was you know doing TV, doing TV production stuff for like mm -hmm. Invert TV, Fuel TV, and uh, then started working with uh, Laban, you know, on like Built to Shred. Yeah. And all that. That's and, such a good show. And, I love that, that show. Man. Excellent. That was, that was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, so did all that stuff. So when I did the blockhead stuff, it was just like a hobby. You know? Yeah. I mean, it was like I would just ship everything to like, you know, Reggie Barnes or like a few shops. So I really wasn't that serious. But uh, but then in 2015, 
I was just like, all right, now's the time. Just like relaunch, jump in with both feet. And, and so that's, I, you know, I turned that into my job again. Yeah. For the first time since, you know, since like the 90s. You yeah. Know? So yeah, jump back into it. But then most of the stuff that we've been doing is all been um, reissues. Yeah. Or <clears throat> if we've been doing uh, modern stuff, it's all had the the older graphics from the 80s and yeah. 90s but that's what you know that's what people are sentimental about and they're it's like mostly you know ron cameron art and people are like people are psyched on it they, oh, they that's it. what they want but like but i think this year is the year that we're doing like actually doing a bunch of new stuff yeah like i have uh i have uh a new board or it's two new boards are same shape kind of it's actually a shape i've been writing and uh ron cameron's doing a, a graphic for it and it's the first like all new graphic he's done for blockhead what? you know since since like i think he did a hard time seven in like 2007 or something yeah but it's, so it's the first he just done some other graphics but they've been based on like the nothing is cool or they've been based on the classic stuff so we've got that going on like sam did a graphic mm -hmm. like because sam's a tattoo artist yeah. he's been doing tattoos and so he drew a graphic that's all new and then i I've, I've got like i've got like four things all stacked up actually uh <laughs> actually laban's laban's getting a board that's like all new graphics oh sick. so already we for this year it's like four all new boards like that and we haven't done any you know like yeah. in the last six years so and I, like, I and i grew up with rocket yeah. i mean i, I mean i've seen we've watched all yeah. the videos like everything yeah. dude i love it man. loved it man yeah so i figured this is the year where like you know we're like gonna do some new stuff and have fun and it, you know because you can only like remake the old stuff i know like as far as like selling stuff mm -hmm. people are just as happy with the old stuff but for us like you know i get kind of bored after a while like i've seen that for like 20 30 years or whatever so it's like 35 years yeah. so it's like i want to do something new just to stoke myself out, yeah you know and uh so that's what's going on this year but it's still fun to do like i know you got this one that one's sick dude so this is like this is the, the chaos board you see that <laughs> that's the chaos board and this is this is from 1985. dude that's right and uh so the first three boards were the street style the rebel and the chaos when i launched in 85 so just reissued this and you know when I do these kind of like do the laser burn on yeah. them and number you know number them and sign them and you know throw a little like little little, little dude, graphic on little there dude on there uh-oh and uh <laughs> but uh <laughs> but i don't know so these are like pretty much to the Those original nice. specs you know this even has the original old school hole pattern yeah you see so, it you know, the old schools yeah, have always wider. been way up here way up on the nose yeah it's just wider it's yeah like three-eighths of an inch wider dude that's, a, that's a sick board yeah so, so this was like this was one I drew like I first I drew the graphics for the first like two years or year and a half and then you know this was kind of my style <laughs> and then uh, and then got uh, Ron Ron Cameron um, was you know just some younger kid. What? Yeah, oh. so sick. <laughs> Jeez. That was rad. Yeah. So so this kid in Sacto that we came came across uh ron cameron that we met. i don't even remember where we met but uh he i think he was maybe 16 at the time uh-huh and so we just were stoked on him because of skateboarding you yeah. know he was like just super like jump ramp like gumby like the most contorted <laughs> like jump ramp airs and and just like super original tricks like yeah. he was super creative with his tricks and uh, so we started hooking him up with some boards, and then at some point he's like, "Hey, I, I, uh, I <laughs> yeah." Then it's, at some point he's like, "I'm, yeah, hey, you know, I draw. Like, yeah. you want to check out some of my stuff?" And I checked out his like notebook of doodles from school, and then I was just like, hey, "Let's try something," you know. And yeah. then he drew the sand graphic with the face with the the evil eye, kind of like a bit one eye bigger than the other, you know. Like he drew that, and then like. I was like, oh. I was like, all right, you do the graphics. You're like, you're, 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 way, you're way better than I am. So. Dude, I'm retired. I'll let you do that it's shit. It's like, because I had so much going on. It's like, yeah. I, you know, I, 
like at that point. Oh, that was so rare. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, when I was first, like, preparing to do Blockhead, uh -huh. I, I had time to do all that stuff, but then, like, once stuff started started moving, I didn't have time to gra draw the graphics. It was, yeah. it was more of a struggle, so then when he came along, I was like, oh, great, now I, I have time to, like, pursue, like, lining up more, like, a distributor in Switzerland or Australia. Or, like, yeah. I had time to, like, actually, like, do other stuff, like, you know, do that stuff yeah so that's rad dude so i don't know no it's definitely sick like what that's you're fun. doing for blockhead and bringing it back and <laughs> and like you know all the old schools and also new school kids are getting more and more into yeah. blockhead and that's that's good yeah you know? no I'm, I'm i'm stoked that like you know i mean 90s were you know in the big pants little wheels there yeah. where where lots of people pretty much got Oh my chased, God. chased out. That was insane, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Yeah. You know, during that uh, early 90s thing, a lot of people just like got chased out of skateboarding, yeah. basically. Like, Vert was dead. Like, you were, you know, people didn't even consider that skateboarding for a bit. You know, mm -hmm. they're like, you're like, you're old school. Like, nobody wanted anything to do with old school. Yeah. There it was. There it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it just made it hard. I don't know where was my original point. I was like, blinded, <laughs> I know we're getting distracted. Blinded, blinded by the skateboarding. Uh, I think I, I think it was my big pants. Uh, I, yeah. In the nineties, you know, vert and nobody was like respecting oh, well, vert. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So so the skateboarding changed and nobody nobody's riding pools or a lot. So a lot of old older guys like just quit skateboarding and stuff. But then like. It was just rad. Like then, all of a sudden, you had like dudes come come along, like Tony Trujillo and stuff. And he's like, he's Change like, no, it. I want to like, I want to do backside bonelesses. I want to do like frontside bonelesses. Yeah. I want to do like airs. I want to have style. You know, I like wanna, I want to kill it. Yeah, I want to go <laughs> fast and go high, and I want to be like, I don't want to compare him to like Hasoy, but in a way, like he was kind of like the Hasoy of you know so street like skating the, of street skating yeah. but then like he was like out of his era you know what I mean yeah and but, you know, there was other guys of course too and the, the, I don't know he just stuck in my mind but there were some other guys that all of a sudden brought back were like no let's like let's do this fast and let's do this with style and then like the tricks guys started like you know saying oh, I, I want to do a front side boneless or like looking through old magazines or whatever see yeah. watching old videos is not saying like oh I don't care if it's cool or not. I just want to do that. It looks, it looks fun. It fucking looks fun. Let's do yeah. that, you know? So you had guys like Rayborn, you know, the other guys that came along and they're just like... Just killing it. Just changing skateboarding and like coming back to the 80s style, but uh, in their own modern twist. Yeah. So I think that kind of goes along with Blockhead, you know, we're like, um, you know, doing it with the modern twist, but it with that 80s style. But, um, oh, shit. <laughs> that was insane, dude. <laughs> These viewers are gonna be, love this footage. Yeah. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. I, 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 like, I don't wanna just like rest on my laurels and just like only, I, dude, I love this stuff. I love to see it come back, but I don't want this to be like, oh, this is all I do, you know, is, yeah. is make stuff that I made in the, you know, that era. I want to make new stuff too. I want to do old and new. Yeah, get that mix, whole mixture. Mix it up, the whole mix, the whole, yeah. the whole thing. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of new, like upcoming skaters, I mean, they're skating like old school boards, that style and yeah, everything, yeah. you know, like Chris, yeah, Chris, got, uh, was it like Chris Hyatt? He yeah, skates, skates those yeah. like old how, 80, how, yeah, 80 yeah, boards. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, that's just crazy. Yeah, I, get, I got hyped on that. I know, I see that. I was like, what? He so, just did that on that board? That's insane. <laughs> yeah, flip tricks on that. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. flip tricks. Oh, look at Chico Brina. Like, yeah. He, he's just killing on anything. Yeah. <laughs> so you skate Bunkersville a lot, right? No, I mean, I live, I live, you know, an hour and a half away. Okay. So it's like, I only make it up here once every couple months, two, three months. And it, for me, it's like, you know, like trying to figure it out all over again, you know? <laughs> This is definitely not an easy place to skate. Yeah. Like the guys here, they're just good. You know, they can adapt. And then when you when you but, do skate, uh, when you do skate, what do you like? What's your favorite what spot? Like? 
I don't know. That volcano was, uh, has always been fun. That's the oldest. That's been there one of the first obstacles. Mm-hmm. So probably that is like, I don't know. It's just fun to board slide around it. Yeah. I mean, like, but, I mean everybody's just killing it right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely insane. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great obstacle. And then um, before we take off, where can people get your blockhead at? I um, mean, Mostly sell stuff direct, like at blockhandskateboards.com. Okay. And I sell to a few shops, but the last couple of years with like the whole COVID weirdness, like just having uh, had enough boards, it's been really hard to get boards. Yeah. From my supplier, especially. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like the, I just got some boards in and I ordered them a year and a half ago. Mm. So it's like, so I just really often had a chance to ship some shops, but, but I'll probably start opening up some shops. So if there's any shops out there that want to, carry the stuff give, it, give a ring you know and yeah. uh well not a ring because nobody uses phones <laughs> no, anymore, no, no, but, uh, <laughs> contact me through the web you know the the, we- the website and yeah. the contact form you know or instagram messages dm me uh, yeah exactly. him, dm them right yeah, here dm through uh yeah blockhead underscore skateboards instagram yeah. follow follow uh blockhead for you know watch like laban and uh jesse Oshkis and some of the you know like those guys plus you know get some stuff with all the schooly guys like sam and jim gray and and watch your tour videos that you guys yeah we're we're out we're still having a blast like we went to montana i saw that and like dude that was like one of the best skate trips i've ever been on and i'm like you know like 58 years old and i'm still like going on like fun skate trips and i was like it's that's like a bucket list spot and i'm like just want to keep going you know it's like till i till i can't you know yeah so we'll keep it going. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying. You know, it's like I'm not I'm not a great skateboarder, but I'm. But you're having fun. fun. That's all matters. Yeah, I'm having fun, and I'm actually like trying to like. I've for, for the past five years, I've been trying to skate a new spot every week and either do something I've never done or relearn something every week. Oh yeah. And that's I've made it for five years. That's sick, dude. <laughs> and like it's just all for fun and a lot of stuff, you know, it's like it doesn't matter if it's something rad, you know, it's like yeah. just some dork trick that I've never <laughs> done before. And it's just like as long as I'm like i feel like I'm still moving forward. Yeah. Cause I got I kinda got like I've always had the bowls and ramps and stuff, but I kinda I felt I like got hit at peak and so I was just like kind of got bored of it in a way so but i was like i want to get out and do different stuff where there's no like standards you know if you yeah. skate something new you're like oh like shit I, I used to be able to do this on this but now i can't you're like yeah. i've never done this on this so I'm, <laughs> I'm stoked you know like i don't know i just recommend uh my uh <clears throat> my uh easy uh, uh system yeah. step program i'm gonna start a, a self-help uh uh, YouTube channel oh, you are, really? for skateboarding, um, <laughs> and uh, for old farts, no who, farts, for old farts who are like feel like their skateboarding is over, I'm gonna try to like you know, ju- juice them up on it again. Yeah. So, you, so you hear that, guys? He's gonna start one for you guys, for us, us out here. <laughs> Well, Dave, thanks for yeah, coming on, man. Yeah, sorry I rambled. No, 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 whatever. you killed it, dude. You definitely killed it. But uh, thanks for coming on, man. Anything else you need to know? Or no. You got? Okay. Yeah, just okay. just hang out with Dave. Coming okay. soon. His YouTube channel teaching us how to skate. Or, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I got too much stuff to do. He has a mind of everything. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks for coming on, yeah, Dave. Sure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a guy with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that little girl. All right, guys. We have two more challenges, three more challenges after this. This one went re- really long, and I probably should have called it up way before, but everyone was doing too many good tricks, and I wanted to get the footy. But the... The best trick at Bongersville at Rad Rumble. And this is really hard to do because everyone ripped and I hate doing this, but I love doing this because Ry Ray gets it. <laughs> Ray Ray gets it. Appreciate you. Yeah. Very cool. This thing is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> 
and, right. it's for, and it's actually for two tricks. Uh, it's for the Volcano 360 spin because this is Bonkersville and that was bonkers. And it's also for the, the uh, what is that? A board 360 flip out. Cause you made your first one. I don't know why you kept doing it, but we got yeah, it on film. to clean it up. We were, we're doing an interview with me and Dave were like, oh, did you just stand there? <laughs> <laughs> so we know you know what you do. That's how she works. So, this is amazing. Yeah, that's what you get, dude. Appreciate you. Dude. Yeah, dude. Bye bye. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> so I'm here with Ryan Reyes. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. So you won. Congratulations. I am the winner. You're the winner of the first obstacle. Yeah. Uh, Rad Rumble here. Standout award. I appreciate it. A yeah. Lot. I think I think Dan stood out for me. <laughs> He did some amazing things. Oh, I don't know did. if you guys saw that. Oh, I saw that, dude. But uh, yeah, I'm happy that my my wackiness <laughs> shined. Oh, <it> definitely <laughs> shined. You guys will definitely see the footage of this, man. <laughs> he did kill it, dude. So how you been, dude? What you been up to? Uh, just been uh, cruising. Uh, I live in like a little tiny house on a trailer that I tow. So it's kind of wiggling around the world, skateboarding, fun stuff, playing music. Okay. I kind of, yeah, just do whatever the heck I want. And what kind of music do you play? Uh, I play like synthesizer and keyboard oh, but sick. yeah i uh, play a bunch of different stuff oh yeah. that's yeah. rad dude. and and so like you've been skateboarding a lot so what you what, what you been up to with skateboarding i mean like what's been going on in your life you know i uh i have been like skateboarding as like a job since like 2010 so like when the pandemic happened i kind of saw a turning point where i could like I don't know, change my relationship with skateboarding. Cause having it, having to have to do it all the time mm -hmm. really does like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say like took that for granted, but it like, it puts a wall in between you and the thing you love. So yeah. uh, it's been cool to like feel fulfilled in the skateboarding world. And now I get to like, uh, I've been like just skating for me and just wherever that brings me will yeah. take me. But instead of focusing on like some sort of like career, career oriented or goal oriented thing, it's yeah. been more about just being happy. And it's been really cool. That's fucking yeah. rad, dude. And, Cause I mean, you think about it, like skateboarding is, I mean, we we're growing up, we were like, oh, I always want to, oh, I want right to go pro. Oh, I want to yeah. do this and this. And then you get there and you're like, dude, I'm not having fun. I'm not, I'm not like, you know? I'm not enjoying it. Like, I don't, I want to go back to what I used to do. You, you know? know, yeah, thank you. You can't do every anything for too long. You know, every, some everything will get stale at a certain point, you know, yeah. so. I try to, you know, keep my appreciation there, not fluctuate my relationship with it. It's a valuable thing that I have in my life. Though you don't want to like, you don't want to lose that forever because of some job or some sort of other yeah. weird aspect. So no, yeah, definitely, definitely. skateboarding special. And this is your first time at Bunkersville, right? This is my second time at Bunkersville. Secondsville. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. I, I came here once, and Laban cooked uh, a stew over the fire in a cauldron. No way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vegan stew. It was delicious. I talk about it quite frequently. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> when, you're, when you're at home, you're like, dude, They're vegan? Like, I'll be like, oh, remember that stew? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite course on here? You know, I like the steep thing in the back, the steep, what Laban called the punk wall. Uh huh. But the volcano, you can't, I love, if it's lit, that's my favorite thing. Dude, you killed it on yeah. the little spinoff thing. Dude. I, <laughs> dude, that was sick. I appreciate it. It's just asking for it. Is it, asking the, a little ballerina. So there. are we going to see like a spinoff in the fire or what? I don't know what the fire is going to do, but it is calling me. It's calling you. You got, yeah. some, you got something crazy in that oh, thing. Yeah, we'll see. And, <laughs> and do you have anything coming up for 2023? Anything? No. No? And I love it. Love it? No skate videos? No. Oh, well, I'm filming a part actually, but uh, like with my friends, like a, uh, like a, a local, video? local video focusing more on that. I have like, uh, I'm slowly building another part like a hd part but i'm just kind of just going with the flow it's not forcing any funk it's been great yeah. and just uh yeah uh, I'm, I'm like uh i do art make a little money through that and i don't have to really worry about much and I'm, a, I'm a humble boy just yeah. in my little trailer <laughs> and eat scraps and i'm a happy guy hey, that, hey look healthy that's yeah, what matters I man appreciate you and, yeah. and so are you gonna go farther with your music are you coming out with albums or anything or you know i uh, I was in a, a band for the last couple of years, but we recently decided to not do it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I don't know what the next opportunity is, but I have stuff I've written on my own. It's just kind of, you know, never forcing the funk. Just always just a ooze. I just try to make things every day. I don't know yeah. what it ever is going to be. Yeah. But just being happy making Hell stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, so what got you into music? Uh, like, I like, just, what was your parents like? Well, my records? parents there were like, 80s metalheads. So oh, like sick. when I was younger, I was like, the party trick was like, 
Ryan, what song is this? And like, I'll be like the three year old, be like, Motley Crue, shout at the devil. <laughs> or like, I just knew everything about, like, he, they would just teach me, and I was just a good solid foundation of that. Yeah. And then like, got into like punk on my own and through skate videos. And you know, yeah, it's a tri it's a slippery slope. And now just, I don't know, I like everything, but okay, that's sick, dude. I like it's, that. It's an important part of my life. And then, one last question, um, what do you want to tell the upcoming skaters? Anything? specific any anything at all uh do the things they don't want you to do mall grab uh do the dorky tricks varial flips everything they don't want you to do do that do the wrong things don't listen to thrasher don't be a dork being cool is silly skateboarding is fun and yeah just be happy and be nice to your friends <laughs> you hear that guys yeah. right here listen to them yeah <laughs> hell yeah don't appreciate you congratulations yes. dude. definitely <laughs> you oh. all these here this is a new one that that is a 90 degree angle it's really weird it's the it's the best trick on however you want to set up. He you already did a blunt steel trick first try when you first got here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's like that. It's where whatever you can think of, wherever you want. It can be here, it can be there, it can be there, it, whatever. It's just getting creative. Some of them punch into this too, actually. It will fit right in and you can use it as a higher thing. But extenders. Yeah. And um Okay, so there, there was trick one. This one, it sticks perfectly, actually. Oh, there you go. Check it, that in it, there. it literally does. I tested it out the other day. I haven't really skated it like this, but... Oh, God. But it's like... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Challenge two, the blunt steel challenge. And uh, this was a tough one to judge because so much rad shit went down. Ry Ray did the feebles. Jesse did the hand plant to the board. I don't know how he did that. Also 50-50 to 50-50. Dan connected them all. And we're gonna give this one to Dan. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Got really creative, put them all together. Speech. Lined them up. Speed. I think we could have used a few more rails, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right on. Sick. Those, those, those. Hey, I'm here with uh, Dan Plunkett. How are you doing today? Doing great. And Sweating. Congratulations okay. on winning the Blunt Steel uh, Standout Award. Thank you. I love Blunt Steels. I actually do skate those a lot. So what was your thought when you were setting everything up? Were you just idea watching everybody? And the, well... When they were skating the corner, I was terrified, so I was like, eh, I don't know about that. And then Clint just set the one over the, the pit thing, and I was like, oh, this is fun. And then the thing with Blunt Steel, you just keep putting more and more together. They weren't connecting, but you, I don't know. You just keep putting them because there's so many of them. You can yeah. just keep, like, they're so fun. Um, but it didn't work out. I mean, it did work out, but I, I wish I could have just got that last corner. So I was hoping you would hit all of them. I know, I know. And then Borsley at the end. Right, right. That would have been sick. But it was, it was getting a little scary. I, I couldn't really see what I was doing. Kind of just rolling up, close my eyes, pray for the best. <laughs> well, you definitely definitely killed it, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. And then, sure. so what have you been up to? What's been going on with you? 
Uh, I lately I've been working for uh, I do sales for tired skateboards okay. and a lot of internal stuff as well. I work for Skate Metal also. Okay. Our warehouse is uh, just downtown. So I've just been this last year or so I've been doing all that stuff, back end stuff, you know. And tired skateboards like for like what? Tired skateboards is um, it's my buddy's company. Brad Saba and this dude Pete Para started it. Okay. He's an older dude. He just likes making. He kind of just rips old shapes like an old Rudy Johnson board yeah. or like right now we just got a sample for an old Lance board that he oh, really wanted to do. Sick. So um, it's kind of just like, he just likes making old shapes. Yeah. And it's for older dudes. We're not really, but that's what he kind of says. You know? Yeah. So. And they drop those dope ass videos because they get all the old school yeah. skaters. Yeah, uh, there's one coming up. Uh, it's every Christmas. They every Christmas them. they do it? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if you guys got clips, Throw send, them in there. send them in, please. So where, where, where can they send them to? I think it would probably just be, ah, fuck, I actually don't know. I'll let you know and you can put it at the bottom right yeah. here. Because I, I don't know who to send it to, honestly. <laughs> Maybe if they DM. Oh, Todd. yeah, yeah, DM the Instagram and then they'll, you know, let yeah. you know where to send it. And, and so you got anything going on with Skate Mental or anything or what? Yeah, we're working on a video right now, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. um, the younger dudes have no issue filming and stuff. Yeah. So, like, Jake and Curran have a bunch of footage. But uh, I've been slowly working on it because I work every day. So, yeah got to make time um yeah just trying to do a video right now yeah and uh you know hopefully that works out oh yeah and then what do you got coming up for 2023 for you for me uh i guess i really would like to have a i don't want to say a part mm. at least a minute of footage for the video yeah. you know that's my main goal at at the moment i'm sure it'll change but yeah just a little something for the video. once you start getting like little taste of filming you'd be like oh shit yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I might for knock sure. out this two minute for sure or. for sure i mean i got 12 seconds so that's good it's a start can't you know? go wrong with that it's a start it's a start <laughs> and one last question do you have anything you want to say to the upcoming skaters fuck man that's a tough question um i guess my only thing would be just skate for fun you don't have to film everything you know mm. you don't have to film every single like it's cool when you do something cool you know film it but you have to get everything yeah. You know, just cruise around. And just don't throw it on Instagram, like all, everything you do. Well, yeah, because right? then nobody will be surprised when you do that trick in a video or something. You know, you know they'll never, like, you got to save some of the good stuff for, for later. All right. And so, Fire Pit, um, best tricks coming up. Any, any big plans you're going to try to do over the I'm Fire Pit? I'm just going to try to keep the smoke out of my eyes. And uh, yeah, I'll probably fling a few backside flips. We'll see. I'd like to. Uh, it's tough, right? It's, it's tough, but we'll see. Once everybody starts. Starts getting it going. On. Are you gonna sit back and watch everybody, and then jump in? No, I don't. Last time I only did that because I was afraid of what they were skating. So um, no, I'll probably jump in because I'm starting to get cold and I'm all wet. So oh, that definitely. That's gonna heat it up for definitely, sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Well, thanks for coming on, Dan. Yes, definitely. Hell yeah, dude. Congratulations on everything. Man. Oh, dude, thank you. Hell yeah. And thank you for this, guys. Yeah. Stuff.
Bill 2022 standout award over the fire pit. I hate judging these things, uh, but we had a little powwow and uh, close second place was Dave Berkthold for making his board up to fake you over the fire, dude. Give him props for that. But come in. Close second place. Yeah. And uh, Rye Ray doing his fucking blunts over was insane. And a 360 blast over it was incredible. Um, but the first place is going to Jesse Hotchkiss because he went and did like a, 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 some sort of switch body burial. <laughs> to fire dance. All right. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Dude, dude. Fire, fire, fun. I'm, I'm always an advocate for fire safety, but <laughs> when it comes to the volcano, things just have to have happen. It's got to keep it spontaneous. And, uh, that's what it's all about here at Bunkersville. Spontaneous attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm out here with Jesse. How are you doing today, bud? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good, good. So you, you, congratulations winning the Fire Pit Standout yes, thank Award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dude, uh, that, dude, that body barrel over the fire pit was, or sex change or whatever. It yeah, was switch. Kind of switch. It yeah. Was change. It's it was insane, just, dude. Just uh, seemed like the right trick at the right time. Uh, got a little embers explosion out of the fire. <laughs> Yeah, I was stoked to. What, what was your mind? Tell us about your mind. What you were thinking about when you were going over that? Just make it and don't hang up because I've re cemented the top and I made it really extra hard of a lip, like a more drastic lip. So it's yeah. easier to hang up. Yeah. So, yeah, just fucking make it. Yeah. And you, you <laughs> skate Bunkerville all the time, don't you? Pretty regularly, pretty like once a week. Yeah. And what's your favorite? What's your favorite obstacle? Favorite obstacle? Uh, I love the punk wall, the vert wall, the like, that's kind of where it started. It started originally at the spine. Uh, Chris Lambert made the spine and then it kind of satellited off of that. Yeah. But I like the vert wall just because it's like this gnarly thing. There's no deck and it's just kind of this just rugged chill. thing. Yeah, you mean you can like overextend like hurricanes or front rocks because there's no deck. You can kind of dip them. Mm -hmm. It's fun. And, and what's your... Everything's really tight though. Oh yeah, definitely. The park <laughs> is nice, dude. I mean, the tight literally like harsh transitions like pretty quick i mean we got a new mellow bank but pretty oh yeah you definitely killed the punk rock bank <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what's, what's the most craziest trick you've seen here about all the times you skated here like what's the most craziest thing you've seen oh, man a lot of them went down the day yeah dan dan put it down i yeah. mean everybody did that now you flip over the over the lip over there that yeah was... a couple of them just blasting um yeah yeah ray ray's fucking spinner in the Fire pit. That was sick. Yeah, and then and the Albert Wade, what do you think of Rad, Rad Rumble? It's awesome. I'm glad we stoked, honored to be a part of it. Um, you know, Bunkersville is like home away from home, so of and, course. And tell tell the audience how did Bunkersville started? Like how did how did it all start? How did it all start? Just Laban wanting to extend the stoke in his backyard and create some radness and you know, uh, Chris Lambert broke the mold where he started things off. And then it just kind of like, we've made a lot of wood ramps, but you know, those just come and go. So we're got aligned with Clayton Grawl and what? he helped lay down the, the new bold corner pocket. And then this extension, what became the dragon. Yeah, that dude, that dude makes some badass deal. Yeah, I know he's dude. super I follow him on Instagram. I'm gifted, like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how he does all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he knows his he knows his shop, and uh, yeah, so it's just rad getting to skate with him, work, you know, learn from him, and uh, yeah, so yeah, he, we had like four dudes pretty much rocking that corner. Yeah, and, uh, it's good times. And you had some good competitors today, man. Yeah, oh, skating, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, good competitors skating today, man. Yeah, they, 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 you know all. all all you guys brought in such different styles, hammers all, but all the hammers such, out you know <laughs> such a spectrum of tricks went down it was so cool and then what you got coming up for anything for 23 2023 for 23. you for bonkersville anything new or uh just working on video projects and uh yeah 
just skating bonkersville oh yeah keeping it bonky um working on some parts oh yeah that's right dude and then um one last thing what do you want to say to the upcoming skaters uh just skate to have fun and just everything will come from that that intention of fun yeah oh yeah and uh keep it keep it light and easy you know keep it keep it chill well, cool cool congratulations on the win dude <laughs> yeah thank you this is awesome right hell yeah rad rumble this is stoked to be part of it uh, they bunch still made it such a good job on yeah, that thing yeah i know thing. this is this is like this is the shit I'm stoked yeah. on this well i'm ready for rad, rad rumble too That'll yeah yeah but we'll double the we'll double it all up it'll all double up <laughs> double trouble next time oh yeah i'll hell be yeah. here oh yeah well cool cool <laughs> well guys we're we're out here rad rumble we're gonna wrap it up here i want to say thank you to all our sponsors thank you to all our guests uh, thank you for laban hosting a great event for the first time um look forward for it for next year but hey Stick around because next season six is going to be way more epic. It's going to be dropping sometime in January. Stick around. It's, we're out. Peace. All right. This is a 1985 reissue. Like the same exact size and dimensions and all that as a board that I did in 1985 with Blockhead. The first three boards were Chaos, which is this one, Rebel and Street Style. This is, you know, here it is. That's the reissue. Special. For you. Thank you. Because you did lots of rad tricks. Yeah. <laughs> At the rad rumble. You hydrated. You did some rad rumbling. Thank you. I appreciate you. How old were you in 85, right, Rick? Uh, negative. Negative <laughs> four. Negative four. Oh. Yeah. Woo. This thing is so sick. This no shape. Care. This shape is amazing. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> the graphics are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And my sweet heart waiting by the fire. Love dreams remind me I left my heart behind me by the dear old.